the director, director of economics and statistics, joined at Prasanna Dayas, deputy director, training assistant of statistical officers. Good morning to all. I welcome all of you to 28 day training induction uh, program being organized in a part. It is a great pleasure to me to invite to this academy a joint director uh, administration here. This is the second uh, long term induction training program being jointly organized by Accord and DES. The first training program with uh, 97 ASOs and uh, assistant directors together ended on 8th of this month. This program was very successfully organized. And the feedback and the suggestions given by the first batch participants was uh, highly encouraging and motivating. And I am of the opinion that the feedback given by the participants of the first training program would help the authorities to carry forward all the pro scheduled uh, planned programs with more uh, encouragingly, more confidently, more enthusiastically. On this occasion, I take this opportunity to briefly talk about human development, resource development, training and capacity building, and how, over a period of time, training capacity building and the human resource development gaining importance. We are all aware the government at various levels have been implementing a large number of programs for the benefit of the people to enhance the standard of living of the people. New programs are coming up and we are also aware of the community awareness has tremendously increased. And uh, the community awareness has reached a stage where they can question the government for providing qualitative service. In order to provide qualitative service, the government at various levels have started uh, innovative programs like good governance, smart governance, right to information. But mere uh, introducing this kind of program do not serve the purpose. We need to build the capacities of the government functionaries working in different departments. Then only the core objective of providing qualitative service to the public can be achieved. Against this background, the Government of India had constituted a second administrative reforms committee under the chairmanship of uh, Virapa Modi to examine the administrative systems in the country and also the states. Accordingly, it had examined and uh, uh, it has examined several issues and one of the issues was capacity building and training. As per the Administrative Reforms Committee, national training policy was developed by the Department of Personal and Training Government of India. It has suggested all the state governments, the Government of India, to prepare an action plan for the training programs for all the states, for all the departments. And it has also suggested every state government to earmark 5% of the funds for the, the capacity building and the training. So coming to the human resource development, training and capacity building in statistics, which is equally important. During the last two decades of this century, economic liberalization, decentralization, globalization have severely impacted the statistical system of the country, have brought the statistical system of the country under great pressure. And the decentralization of uh, um, governments through 73rd and 74th amendments have highlighted the need and importance of the data maintenance at grassroots level, at village level. I am very happy that our state government has already started the collection of data at grassroots level under SLAP, Statistics and Local Area Planning. Once the data is built up at grassroots level, it would help the planners to prepare plan. It would help the government 
to practically network the data at any time from any place. And another important point is, over a period of time, there has been a structural change in the economy of the states, in the economy of the country. And uh, expanding activities in service sector have highlighted, have pointed out the gaps in the data to be maintained at various level. So what I would like to say is, in order to bring down the present statistical system, in order to maintain the data at grassroots level, in order to fill the gaps in uh, data collection, Government of India had appointed a committee called, commission called National Statistical Commission under the chairmanship of Dr. C. Rangarajan, he then governor of Andhra Pradesh, to critically examine all those issues and make certain recommendations to improve, to revamp the statistical system of our country, of all the states. Accordingly, the committee, commission, had examined all the issues and found certain deficiencies. So what are those deficiencies? The deficiencies include lack of transparency, accountability in uh, statistical systems, statistical operations, delay in the publication of results, large and frequent uh, revision of results, and data graphs. These are the certain deficiencies. All these deficiencies have led to the gaps, like uh, lapses in credentiality in the data, reliability of uh, statistics and the accuracy of the statistics. They have also found out the reasons for these kind of deficiencies and resource development in the statistical system. Lack of training and capacity building. So unless otherwise these lapses are eliminated, the object of collection of reliable statistics, accurate statistics cannot be achieved. I have seen the training program planned for 28 days, days induction training. It is very well structured, covering all the subjects, suiting to your requirements. Who this training program have also are also going to cover include a session on writing of you know drafts. This is a request by <coughs> your um, fellow assistant statistical officers who are already undergone a training. So against this backdrop, this 28-day training program has been organized. So coming to, since you are going to be here uh, continuously for 28 days, I need to talk about the board, its activities, its training activities, its facilities. Upward is one of the state institutes of rural developments in the country, established to cater the needs of uh, uh, training of various functionaries and elected representatives of Panchai Raj. There are 12 training centers in this academy, besides administration and accounts. They are taking care of the training activities of different departments and different functionaries. We basically provide two types of uh, trainings. One is mandatory training and another one is uh, venue-based training. Venue-based training is done basically on the request of the client and department. <coughs> and uh, we have also got five extension trainings located at different uh, points to cater to the training requirements of government uh, um, functionaries and the panchayat as representatives so below the mandal level. Uh, there are five uh, um, extension training centers. One is uh, Samar Laput, Bapatla, Sri Kala Hasti, and uh, Rajendran Nagar and Hassan Pandi. And uh, coming to infrastructure of this academy, there are 11 conference halls in this academy with the different capacities, five hostels, and four uh, dining halls, one big auditorium in which you are sitting, and one video conference hall from where you can interact with uh, anyone in the country, in the state, and one computer lab, and uh, one more hostel with a capacity of 200 is coming up very shortly. And one more auditorium just beside uh, this uh, building is coming up very shortly with a capacity of 600. So then, this is uh, only SIRD in the country 
which is organizing the training programs for the functionaries from other states. So this is briefly about the academy. So I am sure this 28-day training program would help enrich our capabilities, improve our uh, confidentiality. And then I would like to mention we have very good library with a collection of 30,000 books in different areas. Sociology, Geography, History, Panchayat Raj, Rural Development. And we have also one crush where you can put your uh, kids. So this is what I would like to talk about our uh, academy. So I hope you will be able to utilize this 28 uh, training program very successfully. And uh, at the final day, the expected result would come out. I wish you all success. Thank you.